Explore Maui, offering a unique land and soul-based experience of Hawaii, focusing on natural wonders, ancestral knowledge, and the spirit of aloha. Enhance your understanding of the islands and its culture through our holistic educational approach. For a deeper dive into Hawaii's inner journey, check out our Hawaii Immersion course. Click the link below to buy the course and immerse yourself in the enchanting world of Hawaii. This comprehensive program will dive into Hawaiian language basics called Olalo Hawaii. History, mythology, and family-centered education content linked to place-based learning. With over 31 lessons available for self-paced learning, you'll also have access to four live weekly sessions aimed at initiating your Hawaiian language journey. Click the link below to start your Hawaii Immersion course. This episode, I wanted to talk about what Explore Maui means to me. Exploring means a sense of awe and adventure. I can imagine when I was a child, I came into different environments with this inspiration of the elements that was surrounding me. I didn't have to think about how to interact. I just engaged with what was around me. And I think part of the hard part of this generation is either they're in their thoughts comparing to themselves on online and multimedia or um, they just don't know how to engage with their bodies, the elements, the senses. And it's crazy to see how we're becoming less human. Every day goes by. Artificial intelligence, algorithms, um, modern technology, it's all taking our ability to increase our capacity for our sense organs to engage in our environment. Talk about electromagnetic radiation, um, uh, blue light, artificial flavors, um, fluoride in our water, different types of medication. These things are contributing to our loss and our capacity to increase our sense organs to take in our environmental information. So exploring Maui to me really means about turning your human body on, engaging the senses, coming back into presence. When you come into Maui, you can't help but to be present. The word for present in Hawaiian is makana, present, a gift. But makana also provides us, and the word is maka. Maka means eyes. So being able to see is present, is a gift. Something when you come to the island you experience for yourself and you come into that wonder and awe of the elements where your natural perceptions, your capacity to receive information increases just by being here. We talked about artificial elements, we talked about radiation, we talked about things that discourage and disembody and disillusion ourselves from reality, what's in front of us. Where are there? It's our past, emotional trauma, whether it's ideology, maybe it's subjective values and beliefs, whatever it is, when you are faced, when you're standing on the top of Haleakala, you can't help but to detach all of those false illusions of safety and come into the heart of mother, the presence, the heartbeat. When you're in Ia Valley, you can't help to wash away all of the trauma sickness so that body ignites you to produce more energy to increase capacity to receive aloha that's what exploring maui is to me you think about the island of maui our motto is maui no ka oi maui excels what are we excelling in from plantation politics of the different cultures coming together we're excelling in integration we're leading the world with light We have the best environment to capture this light. We have the best growing seasons. Our kids play outdoors. We're able to be grounded. There's nothing that's going to attack us on the outside. No bears, no snakes, no poisonous spiders. We have the ability to turn on our body, to literally engage with light and be light so that we can increase our capacity to integrate the cultures of the world. During this time when we're being faced with many global complex issues, Maui, 
part of exploring Maui is really exploring ourselves. We have time to have presence, peace, the makana to open our eyes inwardly, to be able to find where we need to be grounded. Being grounded is one of the biggest values we have in this community, the tangible. If you're a Virgo like me, you like bringing the abstract to the concrete. And as kids, back into the keiki zone, we learn best from one another. Kids learn best from one another. And it's been said, to enter into a kingdom, you must become like a child. Part of exploring Maui is that childlike faith to be able to accept, to believe, to rely on what's provided for you. In Hawaii, we like to say the Aina provides. And the Aina provides us the coding, the DNA, the genes, and information that we need to adapt our bodies into something bigger than ourselves. When we go on to Hana, we receive and absorb all of that information that has been stored from the ages. And the flora and the fauna, as we brush our hands, as we dig our toes in the sand, as we rub against ancient lava rock, these energies are energetically whispering to our soul. You're dancing the vibration that created the universe. When I think about exploring Maui, it's about the word that has been spoken and is vibrating and is alive. It's not held within dogma not held within a certain man's perception or conceptual reality, but when we commune with one another, when we live with one another, when we are face to face, that is truly aloha, alo ike alo, face to face of the ha, the divine presence. Ha also means to exhale, where we get the word nirvana, to blow out. As we look inward, we are able to deconstruct all of the false perceptions, the ego, the false reality, the persona, that we be able to look at being itself. When we're in being, we're exploring. We're in that sense of wonder and awe and bliss. So thanks for listening to this podcast, Explore Maui. And the heart of this message here is to be able to converge the ancient future with the eternal now. To forget looking at dogma and subjective moral values. To be able to enter into the eternal now. Where we get to integrate the culture and heritage and the legacy of humanity. As we continue to reflect and ponder, strategize, and integrate all of the ike, the manapo of Hawaii, just challenge us to open our hearts, open our minds, to be able to be present with one another and fully understand before we criticize. You don't want to be one of those people who are throwing rocks out in the outer circle. But as Christ laid the example, he became one of us. He took upon our culture, our language. He wasn't above this worldly plane, but he entered into it to relate with us. Not only to relate with us, but to show us what true love, true aloha looks like. Lay down your life for another. But it doesn't stop there. In Hawaii, we talk about transcendence, where we don't just talk from Kanaka to Kanaka, but the elements are there. You're sharing, you're speaking, you're building upon something that from the foundations of the world was spoken. The example of Christ transcending humanity into divinity. I hope that mystery sticks with you for the rest of your journey as we explore Maui and all of its facets and fragments. We can put them together in the tapestry we call the Honu, the world. Until next episode, a hui ho.
As we wrap up our journey through Explore Maui, we hope you've experienced the true essence of Ohana and the island's spirit. This podcast has offered a unique perspective on Maui, focusing on both its natural wonders and timeless wisdom of aloha. Whether you're a homeschool family seeking real-world experience, a visitor looking to enrich your trip, or a longtime resident seeking fresh inspiration, Explore Maui has your go-to resource. Before we part ways, we have exciting news. Are you eager to dive deeper into the heart of Hawaii? Our upcoming Hawaii Immersion online course and webinars offer a unique opportunity to explore the profound depths of the Pacific gem. Click the link below to discover about Hawaii's language, culture, and cosmic traditions as you've never seen them before.